So tonight I had to make a pit stop at Don Quixote. So Don Quixote is actually in Hawaii, but it's not as great. The Japanese version is better. So if you want to join me in exploring this magnificent story, let's go. We are now inside. As you can see, there is a variety of foods. These Pringles are takoyaki flavored. So obviously in this place, you'll be able to find strangely flavored <laughs> snacks, foods, etc. Like this, chocolate matcha cookies. Hey, listen. Here we have more foods, mini pancake strawberries, oh you know what I need to look for? Melon Kit Kat. So we are officially in the foreign flavor Kit Kat section. Melon Kit Kats are honestly probably the best ones there are out there. Or are they? Mm. Oh, I don't see them. Here we have ramen. Flavors of all different kinds. This place is actually really, really crowded. These stores are the perfect place to come get your souvenirs before you leave Tokyo, Osaka, wherever. These stores are found all over the world. Here we have more foods. Lipton sloth tea, milk cocoa bags, spam. Toppings and candy. Honestly, this place is filled with so many things. Oh, look at this. The omai oh are the little chip thingies. And this is just a bag full of them. That's so cool. Oh, and these, I've had this. I've had this in dark chocolate, but they're chocolate covered crackers and they're actually really good. Not only is there food here, this place also boasts with a lot of cosmetics, lotions, masks, any beauty product you could think of. Then we move on to the detergents, body wipes, and the pet section. Look! I love all the little cute animals they use as their models. Ah! Overload of cuteness. So yes, I used to come here a lot and bought my animals, my pets, my dogs, anything in every tree I saw. I think these are milk treats and my dogs honestly really liked them. These are, ooh, chicken petite chips for dogs. Petite. Your dogs need to stay nice and slim. <laughs> I don't think that's what it means, but yeah. Cat food. 
and I don't think I've seen very many packs of these. You see they're really small so if you have a pet at home it's probably going to be a bit expensive buying them their little food every day. Maybe not though. So the cool thing about the cans here is that you open them from the bottom. Look at that. Nice and stackable. Over here we have more cosmetics. Look at this. We have a single toilet paper roll in a bag. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Oh, there's the second floor. Oh, but first let's look at all the candies they have. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. So I think the penguin's name is Don Ping. We're going upstairs. A little backstory about this place is its founder was a Japanese man that one time read the book Don Quixote de la Mancha and I guess he was super inspired by that book and he decided to create a store with its name. So these stores you can find them all over Japan and actually they have a couple in Hawaii. I think Hawaii is the only state that has a Don Quixote. That's pretty cool. These places are pretty rare in the United States. The younger version of me used to love coming here and spending all her money on these things. Hello Kitty things. Cute clips. Lots of lip glosses. Everything I could get my eyes on and my hands on, I tried to take. So every single Japanese store I've been in, including Daiso of course, sections their areas off. I feel like they make it look so attractive that you just want to buy whatever it is you see. Japan is the best place to come when looking for anything really. Over here we have another Hello Kitty section. Oh and look, look at the Hello Kitty figurines. Wait, that one's Hello Kitty. This one's My Melody. That one's Cinema Roll. I don't know that one's name or the top one. This store is so peculiar and unique from the rest. I mean, it's, it's always so full with things, but it doesn't look messy. Like it looks very, very crowded, but it looks organized. I have to warn you, these places can get really crowded, especially when these little tight spaces is the only way people can get through. And I also found these clear sparkling drinks. FYI, I love Pokey and here it's the flavor world of Pokey or anything else. These places are filled with a lot of, not strange food, because no food is strange, but a lot of flavors that you normally wouldn't see in other places, like this rich butter potato chips. Honestly, they look pretty good. Honestly, I feel like these types of places open up your creativity. Yeshi! Oh, look at what I found! Studio Ghibli characters. I absolutely love all the movies. I watched Totoro, I watched Kiki's Delivery Service where that little cat comes out, and The Moving Bus. Oh yeah, it's from Totoro. I haven't watched that many, but I like the ones I have watched. 
Here we have our beloved Don Pen. That's the penguin's name. Whoa, look at this. It's a burger bread. Or is it an actual burger? I don't know. Okay, this is a burger, so I'm guessing this might be too. But still, it's interesting. White chocolate waffle bread. They have protein drinks too. Here we have the dark chocolate crackers I was talking to you about and see really, really, really good. So we'll get some of these too because you don't find these just everywhere. Oh, and also I used to buy a lot of these almonds. So they're just chocolate covered almonds, but they're really, really good. This place has endless amounts of treats, candies. Here we have more drinks. Watermelon with aloe. An aloe drink. What else? Cheese and coffees, of course. No one can ever miss the coffee. These places are great because they have so many things. They have a lot of cars, puzzles. You know, I used to buy puzzles from here and I made several and bought the little frames and hang them up. And then I love the gums here. So the cool thing about these gums is that when you open them, they come with little a little sticky note package. So every single time you're done chewing your gum, you wrap it in that little paper and then you throw it in the trash. That saves all the gum from sticking to the floor. Pretty smart. Oh, and then look at this. I don't know why it has this extra top, but it's BTS themed. And this gum is probably the best I've had and I sort of want to try it. So let's take it. Whoa, look at this giant sticky hand. It's great flavored. That's so cool. I would actually like to see how that would stick to a wall. I don't know if any of you have heard of Mentos, but they're little tablets and they're very, very chewy. I think my favorite Mentos is the pineapple, but I have never tried this green apple one. So we're going to take it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Caramelized apples. Ringo. I've actually never seen that here. Over here we have the drink section and the pond section, also known as bread. And here we have different versions of Don Pen. So we have cherry Don Pen, we have fish Don Pen, I don't know what that is. We have, what else? I, I don't know. Oh, takoyaki Don Pen, he's just covered by a box. Well, everyone, I did the most I could for you. I'm going to keep on walking, but I think it's time to say goodbye for now. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like down below, leave a comment, turn on your little bell, and subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting more videos for you. Bye.